Hi, I'm the Dragon Eater, and I like fairy tales. Today is another unbearable tale, but this time it's from Norway. It is called East of the Sun, West of the Moon. Once upon a time, there was a poor man with many children. The youngest daughter was the most beautiful of all of them. One late autumn's night, during a windy rainstorm, a white bear knocked at the door. The man opened it and politely greeted the bear. The bear offered many riches in exchange for the man's youngest daughter. The man asked the bear to wait a day to talk to his daughter about it first. The daughter said, no way. After a week of convincing her that not only would the family be rich, but she will be happy as well, she finally said yes. So both the girl and the bear made their way to his home. His home was a nice castle with everything she could ever want. All she needed to do was ring a little silver bell. That night, she noticed, faintly, a man sleeping next to her. It was the white bear, who was a bear by day and a man by night. Weeks had passed, and the girl wanted to see her family again. The bear said, sure, you can see your family, but do not talk to your mother alone. If you do, it will spell disaster for the both of us. Her family's new house was beautiful, nothing like the old house. The girl knew she made the right decision. She remembered her promise to the bear and went inside. The, her mother tried multiple times to talk to the girl alone, but she refused over and over and over again. Eventually, she caved and talked with her mother. She told her mother about the man in her room. It might be a troll. To find out if it is a troll, here's a candle to keep with you. Light it up at night, but make sure nothing drips on him. The girl took the candle. When she and the bear went back home, she waited until the man was fast asleep. She then lit her candle to see the most handsome prince she had ever laid eyes on. And like that, she was in love. She knelt down to kiss him, and three drips from the candle went on his shirt, waking him up. What have you done? Now I have to marry an ugly woman my stepmother arranged for me. If you only waited a year, I would have been freed from my curse. So you must leave? Yes. My stepmother's castle is east of the sun and west of the moon. Where's that? It is difficult to tell you exactly where that is. The next morning, everything was gone. The castle, the clothes, the bear, all was gone, except for the rags she brought with her. After taking everything in, she went to find answers to the whereabouts of the castle that lay east of the sun and west of the moon. After coming across three old ladies who gave her a golden apple, a golden comb, and even a golden spinning wheel, she came across the winds that go in all the directions. The north wind, the strongest wind, knew exactly where the castle was. It took her straight there. She entered the castle with the apple in her hand. The ugly princess found the girl and asked, How much for the apple? It's not for gold or money, but if you'll let me be with the prince tonight, you can have the apple. When the girl found the prince, he was fast asleep. She tried everything she could to wake him up, but nothing happened. The next day, the same thing happened with the comb. She gave the princess a comb, only to find the prince in such a deep sleep she couldn't wake him up. The next day, she offered the spinning wheel to the princess. The prince refused to drink a sleeping potion the princess gave him, and was awake when the girl found him. You came in time, he said. I'm supposed to be married to the troll princess tomorrow. But now I have a plan, so I won't have to. The next morning, he told his stepmother about a shirt he wanted to wash. The same one with the stains that the girl gave him the night she found he was a handsome prince. I want to marry the person who can wash this. Trolls are terrible at cleaning. So many trolls had tried and the shirt got worse and worse. He called for the girl and she was able to wash it. The trolls were in such a rage and were never heard of since. The prince and his new bride were able to free the humans trapped the castle 
and lived happily ever after, away from the castle east of the sun and west of the moon. Thanks for watching! As always, links are in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Tales and Software. Bye!